Hi, and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today, we're looking at this fantastic little snowdrop pocket vase that we've created. How beautiful and simple and gorgeous is this? And today, I'm going to show you how to make this. So for this um, pocket vase, we have cut a, um, a piece of glass. Oh, we're going for the top. I'm doing it upside down. So um, we want to make sure that the this is six mil wrapped in thin fire. Make sure it's poking out the top and make sure that goes over the top like so. And we're going to have this like here. And I'm not going to put anything on top of here because as this melts, it's going to move. And I think that could um, make the pieces move. But I can then decorate around it. So I'm going to start with... Um, I've got our new snowdrop marini. Now I'm going to dust these with some clear powder just because in our test fire they came up a little bit grey. I mean, um, we can't use 13 in firing, so we're using 113, which is a little bit grey anyway, but um, you just, yeah, giving them a dusting we found does help them come up a little bit nicer. Um. Now, the thing about snowdrops is to make sure that they are facing, you know, they, they, they hang down. They're not facing along, they're hanging down. A little bit of the clear powder's dropped off there, that doesn't matter. Now, I've taken some of our floor strings and I've actually worked the tops into points. Because if you look at snowdrops, they have very, um, they just have sort of these very pointy leaves that come out. Um, so I've done some of those like that. Um, and they're just going to go on like that. In fact, I've got one, I think I'm going to use that one instead. Now I want to just put some um, frit at the bottom. I'm just going to add a bit of glue just to hold it all on. Um, this is some pine green. I'm actually just going to smear the frit on because if it's inner blobs like that, it's going to kind of hold the frit there and I want it a bit more spread out than that. I'm not worrying if a little bit of the green is sort of, sort of splattering up. I feel that adds to the texture of the project. This will go in the kiln. It's going to go on a heavy tack fuse. Um, and we, uh, it's just, we want to, I'm going to do a slow ramp because it's two layers. I'm just going to use this to push this down a little bit. It's going to go on a slow ramp and a long, slow anneal because of the layers and because of the, you know, the pocket vase. I'm going to do at least a four hour anneal on this. Um, and we can see how it looks when it comes out. So now they're all fused together, we put them in the kiln to slump. Um, I'm going to do a very low, slow schedule here. Um, slow ramp and long anneal. Um. So here it is, out of the kiln. We've removed the fibre paper. I have to ask Tina, Tina, did the fibre paper come out easily? Yeah, It came out really easily because it was wrapped in the thin fire. It makes it really easy to remove. We put a little bit of water in just to show you this water soap. We had a little bit more water in, but I just knocked it over. So I'm um, showing it to someone and spilt water all over the table. Good one, Tabitha. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it lovely? Um, love the simplicity of it. Love the elegance of it on the simple light bender. I think it works brilliantly. So absolutely thrilled with this. So happy with it. We put some little um, fake flowers in. I wish we had some snowdrops out right now, but they're not out yet here. Maybe they're out where you are. So um, yeah, loving this piece. Remember, we can now have our snowdrops um, available on the website. You can buy them in Excel or in normal, or you can buy a bundle in Excel with some um, uh, thin, well, thin noodle stringers. 
so that you can make your own nice leaves and some stringers as well. So you can get bundles of, with this, bundles of the normal and bundles with both sizes so you can make this project yourself. Remember, that's at tabithasglassemporium.com. Please sign up to our newsletter to hear about all of our latest news, any new projects, any new YouTube videos, and any special offers we have. So sign up to that. We also have our Facebook group, Tabitha's Glass Emporium group. And if you go there, you can see what our other amazing customers are making with Armorini. So inspirational. I love going there and checking out what other people are doing. And until next time, happy fusing. Mm -hmm.